like that, we are already into July. Give me When you see people online who talk about their lives after moving overseas, you expect to see gorgeous beach days, fun travels and all of that. But no one ever talks about all the annoying behind the scenes nonsense. The amount of time we've spent on hold, waiting in line at embassies, ministries. It's definitely not all rainbows and sunshine. Hola, buenas tardes. ¿Qué trámites están haciendo? Bueno, es para, para aplicar, para ponerle en la lista, para vacunarse a, para, contra el COVID. Perdón, ¿qué, ¿qué era el número de vuelta? Al número 0819. 0819-19. I don't know if they're also literally closing in 15 minutes. Fuck it, there's no way they're gonna answer your call. All ready to go, got all our documents. Yeah, my jack is right here. Let's hope that this appointment actually goes well. Well, I mean, not that the last one didn't go well, it got us this appointment, but I hope that we actually like get something substantial today. <laughs> Because I'm Uruguayan and yeah. you're not, it's going to be easier, but because you, uh, it, in other words, it's not their job, it's, um, whose job is it then? The Ministry of uh, Rela Exterior Relations and Corporations, what? basically what my dad did, basically where we went to where they sent us to come here. <sighs> hoping to be able to show you like a little piece of paper and be like woo look at this I'm on my way to my residency but of course that didn't happen apparently that was the wrong office for us to even be in in the first place nothing makes sense baby everything's shit so fuck you because I'm over it like I'm trying to back everything up but the can like the government everybody complains that the government like doesn't work yeah of course it doesn't work because there's no intercommunication between the departments we got a laptop I got a knife <laughs> We basically wanted one since we moved here, but the prices in Uruguay are just kind of outrageous. And this one, when we finally found it, was more expensive than it is in the US, but not like crazily But not expensive. Uruguay expensive, so. Yeah, it wasn't like twice the price, it was just like a few hundred more. Yeah. So we were like, screw it. We waited long enough, let's just get it. Oh, there's a, there's a cool tab. Ooh. 
you can stop setting it up. I'm gonna make her straight in. That's Catherine. Her name's Catherine. Pretty fun. We hit a little snag there like, for a while because like... we couldn't remember what our Wi Fi password is, and now we're up to the point where if you've ever swapped from Android to Apple, you'll have that realization of what the app is. Everything is like, is like is my left -handed. Apple ID. It's like left handed too. What do you mean? It's it, everything's opposite. And we don't want to just transfer my like everything on here onto the new one because the point of getting a new one is because mine is really struggling. And so we don't want to like clog up the new one with all this brain mess. I thought that was a fucking computer explosion. <laughs> of course, between all of the, you know, legal drama, I've been continuing to film all my YouTube videos and here is a little bit of behind the scenes. For more videos like this and photos from all the photo shoots, head to my Patreon account. It's always linked in the description box. Oh, they're on the balcony. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 It definitely looks like like we're shooting up somewhere. <laughs> okay. Now I'm back in what I actually want to be wearing tonight, which is my very large, oversized, handmade, I guess it's supposed to be like a jumper dress, but I haven't finished off the neckline or the sleeves and stuff yet because I wanted it to eventually have a hood, but I ran out of fabric. So now I'm trying to decide if I want to just leave it as a crew neck or buy some more fleece and add a hood to it definitely not the sexiest outfit but very comfortable what this one you like it i think it would actually look cute with a little belt that was kind of the idea is that it's super oversized yeah and then if i wore it with some little boots and a belt I think it would look cute and it kind of matches my makeup actually but I'm just glad to have the wig off the cat suit off turn the studio lights off and just chill and sort out the footage now <laughs> This is my current favorite latex photo shoot coat just because it covers up <laughs> most of me. Yeah. 
you can face that way, they won't even be able to see. And then back onto the hold music. You expect them to have better taste in music? No, I just, I don't mind the music. I just want better sound Audio and quality. quality. Me vacuné, pero es para ella y, y se nos está trancando como el aplicación para el sitio web y, y no sé cómo, como si puedes ayudarnos o estamos pensamos que la oficina se, estaría cerrado por por el covid entonces ese, ese, no sé eh. está perfecto buenas bueno muchas gracias vacunación I think that's what I but just when it's all feeling too much, these sunrises really help bring me back. To track to where's it from? Just like it's <laughs> Luke is limited. <laughs> when back when we had it easy. Now you don't believe me when I say I 
Now for those of you who've made it this far into the video, here is a little bit of a preview. If you're following me over on Instagram, then you've probably already heard me talk quite a bit about this and share a lot of this over on my stories, but after posting that video to TikTok, I got a lot of requests to start selling these. And since I've always, like since I was about 12 years old, always wanted to get into fashion design and have my own store. I finally decided why not, why not give it a try, do my best to make it happen. So this is what I've been spending my time on this month. I have so much fabric, so many ideas, but I am trying to keep it really basic to start with. You may have also noticed when I've been popping up the Instagram handles that there is a new one there. I actually only just made the account today as in Tuesday the day I'm editing this video so there's currently nothing on the Instagram page yet but if you want to go give it a follow and support my small business before launch day which should be sometime next month I would really appreciate it but yeah back to the rest of the video now And to finish off the month, this is your sign to follow your local Sea Shepherd. Yeah. Here it's of course yeah. Sea Shepherd Uruguay and head down to their regular beach cleanups. So all them on the dime, yo, yeah. 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 I've talked about this a little bit before over on the vlog channel, but some of the beaches here, actually most of the beaches here are disgusting. We spent a good two hours cleaning up and there were a lot of people down here and so much trash got picked up from the beaches. Oh, 
the end of another month i hope you enjoyed i hope you're having a great start to your august wherever yeah, you are in the world comment down below what, you live, what season it is right now i know a lot of people are still soaking in the sunshine of the end of summer but here in montevideo spring is in sight and i can't wait for winter to be over thank you for watching can't wait to show you all of the amazing videos i am working on I have been filming, 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 which means, of course, the editing has taken a back seat. But big things coming. Get excited. See you soon.